Plaintiff Tia Lee says when she met the defendant, she fell madly in love with him. And three weeks after they got married, she found out she was pregnant. After a short time, Tia claims she realized the defendant was an alcoholic with a gambling problem. And she's suing him today for unpaid alimony and stolen money. Defendant Robert Lee says the reason he divorced Tia is because she didn't want to do anything. Robert claims Tia was lazy and she refused to work or clean their house. And he's not only countersuing for stolen money, but he also petitioned the court for a paternity test because he has doubts about fathering Tia's daughter. Let's start with you. Your Honor, I am here today because my ex-husband, when I, when I met him, I was just in love with him. When was that? That was in 2001. Okay. In 2002. 2000. 2002. <laughs> I remember the nightmare. I remember the nightmare. 2002. Yeah. Okay. And I thought he was so handsome. I'm like, look at him. He's... He's, he's changed a lot. He's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's I'm not looking, the husband I'm looking at that I first met. <laughs> he's not the husband I first met. <laughs> Your Honor, you know, I just thought I had a rough neck, garbage man, liked to work, big hands, burly feet. And we got along great, took trips. But after we got married, we went to Jamaica three weeks later. I was laying in the bed. Uh -huh. And he woke up suddenly and said, Tia, I had a dream. You said, Robert, I'm pregnant. I said, what? Go buy a test. And sure enough, I was pregnant. What year was this? That was when we got married in 2005. Ah, uh, he started showing that he was just a strong gambler. He would gamble like a high roller. He was With low a, money. Just, just, <laughs> just an alcoholic, just wanting to drink. You know, the alcohol bottles his woman. Social drinker, sir. Social drinker. Okay. The alcohol is his, his mm -hmm. woman. Uh, and also, like, he would take a trip, not tell me he was going. When he would come back, he would bring me back some clothes that were too small for me one time. It was a belt that could fit, like, a size six woman. And, Your Honor, I'm pretty much the same size as I was when I met him. Maybe he was drunk when he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Say he drinks. <laughs> Your so, Honor... did you ask him about that, and what did he say? <clears throat> Get the hint. <laughs> Your Honor, I used to clean our house magazine clean. And then he would come in, black thumbs, grease, dirt, mud, and I would say, honey, I just cleaned up. And he would say, oh, well, that'll give you something to do. What in the... All right, and when did you all break up and why? Uh, well, our house, I got tired of carrying all the weight mm -hmm. of paying the mortgage, and our house went into foreclosure. And he decided in 2010 to separate. Okay, and you all divorced when? I know and you the say divorce separate. was August of 2012. All right. Sir, you want to give me some background? Yes, sir, I do. Yeah, we met in 2002, and, uh, you know, she was very aggressive, you know, would not say no. And you guys, people in the family, you know, I, I turned her down at first, but she would always You're come over. Your Honor, he chased Let me around finish, my uncle's house. He didn't house. say a word when you were talking. Go ahead. See, she w was aggressive, very aggressive. Mm -hmm. I used to tell her no. I don't want to date you. But then, you know, she came. I gave in to her. I did. He was, was drunk worst, and he's was flying right now. Did. Baby, please don't that, leave me. That, that was the worst thing I could have ever done, you know, <laughs> was to give in to this lady right here. You know, as far as being financially provider, that's all I have been. That's why she got me here today, because I've been a financial provider. So why'd you all divorce? We divorced because of her not doing nothing. She did not want to work. When we got married, she got pregnant. She didn't want to work. She didn't clean up the house. She would never cook. She said she had magazine no. clean. No. Oh, if I had pictures of the house, you would think it was uh, homes and garbage, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> homes and garden. Why would you sit up and say homes and garbage? She, <laughs> <laughs> homes and garbage. I'm serious. The work I did for 24 years, I, I saw that every day I came home. So you broke up with so, your wife because she but had a, she a nasty house? She was lazy. Your Honor, can I Basically. say something? She was just lazy. So you know? that, that's why and you broke she, up? Yes, yes, All sir. All right. I said 2008. Okay, 2008. I'm through. I'm getting ready to move on. Did I'm, you give her a reason? Because she wouldn't do nothing but lay up here and didn't want to work, clean or cook or nothing. She didn't want to do nothing. And he woke up suddenly and said, "Tia, I had a dream. You said Robert, I'm pregnant." I said, "What? Go buy a test." And sure enough, I was pregnant. 
plaintiff, Tia Lee, is suing her ex-husband, who petitioned the court for a paternity test because he has doubts about fathering Tia's daughter. She didn't work? No, sir. Okay. No. She, had, she, had, uh, uh, she had some job with Seattle Housing. Well, then she did work. Well, I'm talking about she didn't keep the job. They got liar. rid of her. They, you got rid of her. Habitual she, liar. See, I'm, How I'm looking How long did she me. keep the job? It was maybe six months or and so. And did she work again? Well, she, I think she did, yeah, she did the long Well, then she had two jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First you Come started on, out, she Come didn't, out here, devil. first you started right. out, she didn't have any. She didn't now work. we're up to two. Your Honor, I was you know, a loan officer, got us into our first home. What are you suing him for today? Tell me about the lawsuit. I'm suing him today because our divorce decree said that he used to pay alimony for $300 a month, and that was for 12 months. You have that decree? I do. You see it. So he started out paying in September, and he did the first six months. After that, he said, I don't have to pay. They can't make me pay. And tell me about the disability. Uh, Your Honor, my daughter receives uh, benefits under his disability account, and he was watching my daughter while my... I had a child in the hospital, didn't know how long that child would be in there. I have custody of, of her. And so he actually would, uh, said, I'm on your team. I'll support my daughter. This is mine. I'll watch her long as you need me to. And that was during that hospital time. But he called behind my back and had him switch the check over to his address. <laughs> so they switched it over, and I didn't know it. And I found you out... the payee? I was the payee. So they sent it without your... They permission? sent a letter saying, thank you for your time being a payee. We have someone else. Oh, so they switched the payee. They switched it. I am the payee. Okay. Because he... I have custody of my Hold daughter. Hold on, sir. I have custody. Because he called and, and applied and said, hey, I, I want this to come to my address. Whatever he said, I don't... I just have the letter. Did you ask them what he said? Yes. Okay. And they said, they they said basically said? they made... Uh, application and it went through and we it was just kind of like a did you process. ask why they didn't and give I said you how notice? could you do this when he has a child support order and they said how did that happen and did they asked them it. why you didn't get notice of his application to switch monies from you to him they told me they would not provide that information they would not give you notice before they did it. Yes. That's what they told you. Yes. We don't give notice. All you got to do is call up. <laughs> Whoever you are, Doyle can call us. Anybody can call us. We'll switch it over based on what they tell us, and you won't get notice that we are about to switch it over. Good Your Honor, enough. we do things a little different in the Northwest. I know. Mm, I no, know. it's not that different. All right. Sir, what do you say to that? She lost custody of a kid in November. Both her kids. She had a son by another guy. Her, it, and she had been charged with neglect with her son. And so they gave me custody of my daughter. And I still have custody of her today. today. Let me see that. You're on I object. Order. <laughs> the jet body? That's the CPS order. He's, yeah. he's... That's the CPS order. You never lost custody, ma'am? She no, lost sir. custody of both her you kids. You did not. She lost, bo okay. she lost custody of both her kids. That's the CPS order right there. She came over to my house and stole both the original Both children paper. will be staying with their respective fathers after the background checks are completed. Yeah, so that's why she don't... She's not the payee of the kid. She don't have a custody. Are you all right? I'm great. <laughs> Your counterclaim, sir, is for what? She stole $1,200 while we was together, and she stole another $600. I was in uh, Texas, Houston, Texas, visiting one of my cousins. This is why you all were married? While we was married. Oh, you were drunk and gambling. You lost that money. <laughs> <laughs> or dreaming. Uh, yeah, or dreaming uh, again. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was one of your dreams. You know, <laughs> one thing gambling do, you know how to count his money. <laughs> no, no. Ma'am, what do you say to that? I don't know anything about what he's talking about, Your Honor. All I... right. Now, with regard to this D DNA, why do you think there's an issue 10 years later? When we was going through our divorce, sir, she was eight months pregnant with her son. And that was, we was going through the parenting plan. And so I requested that because I, I just can't trust her, you know. This is the same child you dreamed about? D yes, sir. Yes, sir. Became it a is. nightmare. It is. Because life, is, life can be beautiful. Life could be beautiful when it's true. When it's honest and true, it could be beautiful. When did you decide that may not be true? 
Well, uh, in 2000, well, uh, just recently, when she came at me. Just recently, you well, decided no, that you wanted to question we went, the paternity? When we went through the divorce mm -hmm. and I found out she was pregnant by another man, I thought about it then. And you all were getting a divorce. Right. So while right. getting a divorce, yes, sir. you said, well, I think I might try to say this not mine. Then I won't have to pay no child support. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Go <laughs> get the paternity test. <laughs> I'm getting rid of y'all right now. <laughs> y'all yeah. something else. Plaintiff Tia Lee is suing her ex-husband, who petitioned the court for a paternity test because he has doubts about fathering Tia's daughter. First of all, ma'am, uh, you contradicted yourself regarding losing custody. Uh, with regard to the alimony, sir, do you have any evidence on the alimony? She said you stopped paying in uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In she, February. Do you have uh, anything reflecting yeah. payments after that? Yes, I do. Let's see. I it. have my receipts. Let's see that, it. They, uh, Let's show me one. You contradicted right yourself, ma'am. Yeah. And now he's about to show me, he says, yeah. receipts after the time you said he provided and this is you the no money support. Order. I forgot what month this was. And I am looking at these receipts, yeah. ma'am. Your claim is dismissed, ma'am. I see receipts which contradict what you said. Also, the removal of the children. That's why they switched the Social Security payments over to him. With regard to the stolen money that you allege she mm -hmm. uh, stole while you were married, she yeah. can't steal her own money, sir. Okay. She can't steal her. There's no such thing as stealing your own money because her money was your money when you were married. Mm -hmm. It was community property, and so whatever he money she took... He never got that concept. ...that was her money. That's what wives do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they spend yeah. your money. They okay. take your money and spend it. Yeah, okay. I just told my wife I wanted to get a car, new car. My last car is 2010. I go to the car dealer and say, let me... I'm acting big. I'm just mad. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a new car here. Let me write you. I'll write it for the whole thing. <laughs> I don't need no credit. <laughs> you know, right now, they run immediate checks. They don't even have to wait on the check to come back. <laughs> Mr. Mathis, you, you, your balance is zero. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the bank. Now, I know I got plenty of money here. Now, just, what happened here? Mr. Mathis, your wife took all that money out <laughs> and transferred it. So that's what happened, sir. Get used okay. to it. Okay. All right, have a good day. Most of your cases are just The paternity. DNA results? Oh, uh, I was just. Come on. No, no. Uh, oh, no, we yeah. don't know, no. Yeah, yeah. I'll... Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got it right there. <laughs> you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Rob, I can say thank you for your years as a U.S. veteran because I can't thank yeah. you for being well, a husband. I, 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 <laughs> I really don't think that you understand the thing of marriage, so I'm good that I moved you on broke in my up life. Our home. I don't have That's no problem. I don't have no problem taking you care of my daughter. From everything. But you cannot you expect to take care of your daughter. You don't get well. You don't even want to work. You don't. Yeah, you, you saw lied. the paper. They saw the paper. They didn't you see the paper. You don't have custody. You don't have custody. It's okay.